it'll be a very demanding day for everyone. Several mountain passes and a summit finish await you. This is a key stage for the general classification. You will have to be there on the final climb if we are to do well. We're able to follow the best and aim for top five. Have a good day, guys. Go, go! Hello and welcome back to some more Tour de France 2020 and part uh, 15 of our playthrough today. It's flat at the start um, and then we've got three big mounts, two first class and then the highest class classification climb to finish. It's going to be a tough one. Feed uh, right slap bang uh, at the 75% mark of this stage. It's going to be tough. But I'm definitely going to go in the, the breakaway with Landa. I know you guys may not advise it, but I think that's our only way back, really. If we can, you know, pull something off today. Uh, it says Toins to be part of today's breakaway as well. And Bill Bow. So I might get them to attack with me and just try Hello and protect. And welcome to all. Two. Yes. Two climbs of the Grand Colombier on the programme today. For most riders, one ascent sends shivers down the spine. So for most, this will be a done. So straight away, I'm going to tell Toynes to attack and uh, Bill Bow to attack Esque as journey, well. Because the two climbs are separated by the Col de la Biche, a thrilling stage for the climbers. We need to get ourselves well placed to give it a go. Acceleration at the head of the peloton. Where are we? You're in for some hard work today, lads. With a finish at the top of the Grand Colombier, you have to keep a steady head. In a breakaway or in the peloton, you're going to have to count each stroke of the pedal if you still want to be fresh at the finish. Good luck. Attack at the head of the peloton. Jingles coming up as well. Watch out. You'll soon have no more energy to attack. Come on. Let's manage it. These two haven't managed to push out yet. Attack at the head of the peloton. There's Bill Bow. He's coming, and so is Toynes. Come on, boys. Get in here. Come on. There they are. Here they come. Yeah. Awesome. Nice to see. So I think I might just give them their, their red gel. I don't think they'll desperately okay, need it. I'll consume a feed. We're not done with the, the breakaway yet, but we certainly got the foundation set. Just need to wait for a, a bit of a downhill section. I think where that pace car is going now, need to give that a little bit of welly. And there you go, a little bit of welly we give it. Looks pretty decent, but it's only eight seconds ahead, amazingly enough. They're just not letting us get away that easily. So, I might give this one up. Well, there goes Martin. Let's follow him. haven't come with me Bill Bow and I can't remember who the other one was come on for the moment any breakaway has drawn a blank there's an acceleration yeah, I'm not sure I'm gonna manage it reduce speed a bit otherwise you'll hit the wall so I just don't think it's it's gonna happen. Unfortunately, they're just not gonna let me get away. Nobody left on a breakaway. 
There's a new acceleration. Jingle. Jingle. It doesn't seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced. I'm definitely going to try it. You seem to be running on empty. Lift your foot if you don't want to blow up. So 11 seconds we've got, but they're just going to catch up again. They just haven't got enough. He's interested in the competitive rider award. Counter attack. Willens. Watch out. He's well ranked on the climber standings. Shackman as well. But yeah, I don't think they're going to manage it either. So I'm not sure the breakaway is going to work today. So I'm just going to fast forward and you watch. That'll be the breakaway that one actually does break. work. And there you go. Straight away. Wait, one minute for the, good. the breakaway. So a bit of a shame, but. I guess there will be more opportunities to break away on. from this fellow. Stay well placed. The rider who wins the intermediate sprint will score 20 points. The second will pocket 17 points, while the third will pick up 15. Well, here we are at the intermediate sprint then. And you can see there's 15 riders up at the top here. We decided to go for the second breakaway with Puels and we managed to catch up actually. Which I think is really helped. We'll try and get these 20 points for, for Puels and yeah, it looks pretty good. Oh, well we finished second in the end but that's okay. Here's the winner of the intermediate sprint. It was Powell's that won it, but that's fine. We we got some decent points there. And we got two minutes thirty on the on the peloton and three big climbs. It, it could be a big gap today. And uh, you know, I was just looking at Powell's, and if he, you know, makes six seven minutes on the yellow jersey man today. He's right back into the yellow jersey hunt, and I think he's got a, a better chance than uh, than Lander, to be honest with you. He's looked more convincing, in my opinion. So, we'll just see how it goes. But uh, I'll see you guys at the bottom of the next climb. The first rider to the top will score 10 more points towards the climber standings. So we got 3.7 kilometers to go here. It's one of them climbs that you just have to be patient on. It's just going to get steeper and steeper. So, you know, we've got to push the legs. We know fine well there's a, a decent descent after this, so. Don't have to worry too much about the the energy. Might as well take some of our feed actually. So. Whoops. What's happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. The gap with the yellow jersey is melting away. The SKPs will have difficulties going all the way to the finish. I don't know what happened there, that was teammate is beginning to lose touch. weird, so Cole Brelli is losing touch, but uh, a man that's not losing touch is Puels, he's looking pretty good here, has to be said. So we're at the, the bottom of the climb, let's just... Check how things are going, might as well go with the, the blue gel for all those guys. And probably red gel as well for, for Cavendish. Okay, I'll consume a feed. Wells is doing a wonderful job at the front here. And you know Benut is another guy up here that, that could turn this general classification on its head 
really good. We're already two and a half minutes ahead. We've got the big downhill section to come where we could make some time up. It could be good. You seem to be the best climber in the group. You should be able to move to the front. So there's the one kilometre line. I feel like we just need to be waiting our turn. We don't really need to be pushing for the points here. Who else is up here? I guess Shackman is the, the only big danger. But there he is there. He's not going to be getting any points you wouldn't have thought. Yeah, this is a horrible part of the climb. It's black. 16%. But it does shallow out a little bit from here. Here we go. You can see Woods is sort of going for it himself. But we're we're pretty good here. And we got the we get the feed in a little bit, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna take these ten points with Puels and uh, well, he'll be absolutely delighted with that. It doesn't seem to be a good day for him. He's being distanced. So Gary and Thomas being distanced, that's pretty good to hear. I'm going to try and get as much of our energy back here as, as we can. We've obviously got the feed zone coming up very very soon so here we go oh that could have been bad I guess I'll see you guys at the bottom the end of the stage is not far off stay awake it will soon start to move in the peloton Two kilometers from the summit. Watch your opponents. Well, we're a kilometer from the top. We've uh, rested a little bit up here just to get a little bit of energy back. But I think now is the time to put in a bit of pace again. Try and get that gap to the peloton up again. Because they, they are riding hard behind. You can't see them, but... You know, they've made up a, a minute. His teammates have a handle on things for the overall standing. It will be difficult to increase the Not gap. very long at all. I'm going to finish second, which is good. Here's the positions over the last climb. We've got enough of a points lead for the polka dot jersey. There's no way we can lose it today. Keep it up! Well, that's very good. So, good to hear for... Oh, man. Moritz. So, I think putting some pace in up this little incline is, is going to do us some good. And then we've got the big downhill descent before we have to come all the way back up again at the end. It's flattening out now, so I'm actually going to put in a bit of pace because I know I'm going to get all this Watch energy out. back. You'll soon have no more energy to attack. So I'll see you guys at the start of the next climb. The descent is over for the lead riders. Another 15 kilometers or so. And they'll begin the second ascent of the Grand Colombier. So we've got 30 kilometers left now. We've got 4 minutes 20 on the peloton. There's two of us out here at the front. Me and Martin are ready to give it our all. Get ourselves towards the highest classification climb. And I'll see you when we're a little bit up it. Wow, 
while you join me just over five kilometers from the end it's been a tough old climb up here we still got a decent gap to the folks behind uh, you know it's probably going to be either me or martin that that win this stage i think we've got it under control now try to manage things so that you don't blow up before the line but it's going to be super super tough we're just trying to keep our blue energy intact and uh, keeping an eye on that gap to, to Benal. Landa, unfortunately, has, uh, has dropped to about a minute behind uh, Yellow Jersey Man. So that's, again, another blow for him. But uh, there's not much we can do about it. But what we can do is significantly reduce... Banal's lead over Puel's and it, you know if if this stage is anything to go by maybe just maybe Puel's can moment, do this again managed to get in the next four Victory will mountain stages be decided in a sprint. so we've got 1 minute 54 on him at the moment got 2.6 kilometers to go I think it's time to put in a little bit of pace just increasing our tempo very slightly I think we've got this in hand I really do he's attacking to catch up Pino's having a little go kilometers to ride for the men in the lead we're heading towards a sprint I'll tell you what Fugel sang is uh, is dropping back as well Putting in more and more pace. Just trying to get ourselves going here. Let's see how much blue energy we've got. I don't know how much the Martin has got. The front. It will be decided in a sprint. This is the last kilometer. Go, go. One more effort. So how much energy have we got? Come on, stay focused. You will beat them. Try and work out where the finish line is. I'm going to go for it. We might blow up. But we Seems might do it. Ah. <laughs> well, we drove him into the wall. I think that was a bit harsh, but I couldn't let that go. Um, <laughs> everybody else is, is well off, aren't they? So I guess we, uh, we head towards Lambda now. And we try and finish it off for him. But he is going to blow up probably. Yep, there it goes. Just trying to... Pierce it, but yeah, there you go. So Fugel Sang had a little bit more in the tank, not not too much. But we're going to finish 14th with Lander, or 15th I think in the end. Not a good stage for him, and uh, I think his hopes are pretty much over. And uh, I think we should just change our attention now, away from the general classification because I genuinely don't think we've got hope in hell of doing it I don't know how much Puel's had on Banal but we'll have a quick look in a second but winning the stage we'll settle for that now I think we can be really pleased with Puel's today he is all smiles as he climbs out of the podium applaud him to him for this high flying performance he is in sparkling full he's amongst them he's among he will climb so there you go we'll see what the damage is how far back was banal that's going to be the question 
Well done, lad. Congratulations to you. I hope that we'd play a leading role, but from that to win this stage, you have put in a superb performance. Well done for this win. We retain the green jersey. Well done, guys. I tell you what, two minute thirty-two behind. I think we can we can settle for that. Let's have a little look at the effect that that has had. So Puel's up to eleventh now. Ten minute three off. Uh, Lander still in seventh. Six minutes twenty-eight off. Bernal leads by a minute over Rodzic. Um Yeah, Mahoric actually is doing okay. He's still twenty-one points ahead in the polka dot. Cavendish. Still, uh, you know, about 100 points ahead of Ackerman. Um, yeah, I'm fairly pleased with that. And uh, I think we've got the rest day coming up. So hopefully everybody will improve uh, their condition. And obviously winning the stage gives you a little bit of bite back. And you can see everybody pretty much back to full fitness now. So we've got Lander, Puels up for a big push towards the end. And, uh, you know, we're going to have to take some risks if we are going to win this. But, um, you know, at the very least, we can we can give it a go. We're still there or thereabouts. So if you have enjoyed that, make sure you hit the thumbs up button down below. It really does help out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for daily Tour de France content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.